Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Up next for Second Stage Theater is Lydia R. Diamond's new play, Smart People, under the direction of Tony Award winner Kenny Leon. It begins performances on January 26th, and we drop by the rehearsal room to meet the company, led by Joshua Jackson, who's making his New York stage debut. Russell, welcome to the New York stage. Thank you. How does it feel? Honestly, well, I'll tell you in a couple weeks. Right now, <laughs> it feels fantastic. And this is something like every actor. This has been on my actor's bucket list for a very, very long time. And had been looking and looking and looking for the right thing and, and finally found something in a company that I wanted to be a part of. So right now, it feels great. Talk to me um, like two and a half weeks, maybe a little different. <laughs> I love the first table read. I love to ask actors what that first day is like. What was it like for you? Well, uh... You know, on this, I'd met Tessa briefly once before, so she, that was really the only personal relationship that I had. I'd, I'd known some of the behind-the-scenes players here for a couple of years, so there was a couple of familiar faces, but truly, we're diving into this thing together, and, you know, the, the, the content of this play is challenging in a very good way, right? And Lydia's writing is, I think, very smart and it's very insightful, but it also is not afraid. It doesn't beat around the bush, so to be able to let those words come off the page for the first time, and to see how they actually impacted rather than just in my mind to actually give them voice and also you know these fantastic people that I'm getting to work with to hear them start to embody start down that path of creating these people it's you know that's the magic that we do what can you tell us about the role you're going to play without giving too much away well so as the title says smart people so my guy is a neuroscientist who is working up a, a thesis about about the underpinnings of race relations and race dynamics in America. And we use that as an entree into these conversations and how, you know, American racial politics shape and define our, our interpersonal relationships, our love affairs, our friendships, and, and how even when we don't want it to or aren't looking for it it, it, it is lurking either in the background or in the foreground sometimes. All right, how excited are you to be working on smart people? Uh, really excited to be working on smart people, working on working with this cast, the writer, uh, uh, Lydia R. Diamond and Kenny Leon uh, and just to be on stage as well and exploring what that is and just finding my my stage legs um, so it's it's just been an exciting and very challenging experience but all positive I love that finding your stage legs there's nothing like working in the theater and that discovery in the rehearsal room and you've got Lydia and Kenny and this cast yes yes it's, um, it's a terrific group of people it's been a wonderful collaborative effort um, again not without its challenges but I think because of that it makes it that much more worth it what's it like working with Kenny Leon Kenny is <laughs> absolutely terrific um, I've never worked with another director like Kenny um, he's so straightforward forthright uh, cuts right to the chase and as straight up as he could be it's never without love um, it's always constructive and he puts a lot of responsibility on you to figure it out and bring that into the room and as a, I think as a result of his approach you have to grow as an actor you 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 um, he's, he's not gonna be a crutch he's gonna put it on you to figure it out but that's not to say he doesn't direct because he definitely directs you and he's able to sculpt moments in a very wonderful and beautiful way so it's been absolute joy to, to work with Kenny welcome to the stage how does it feel I mean this is my New York debut and I have long wanted to do a play here especially here at second stage where I have seen so many plays and to work with Kenny Leon who is a hero of mine and to work with Lydia Diamond I just love their collaboration together so really it truly is a dream come true I say that that is absolutely the truth there's nothing like theater and to come this way you know doing something like this I know to do something that I feel like has real resonance that, that that's interesting that's smart that's funny but also incredibly entertaining and quick is a dream come true it really is what can you tell us about the woman you're playing I'm playing Valerie who is one of our four smart people who occasionally can do some not so smart things um, but she you know is is sort of I feel like a beacon of hope in some ways she's campaigning for Obama of course we're in a pre-Obama time um, and she deeply believes that if we all work together that he that 
he can win, and of course she ends up being being right. Um, so she's sort of an agent of change, but she herself is an actress who has just graduated from school and is so hopeful, but kind of navigating a tricky space where she feels like there are certain opportunities that are maybe not presented to her, or some opportunities that are, and people are confused why she, you know why she's the one to do it, maybe because of her racial identity, and so she's navigating that. And I think that that was something that definitely I did experience early on in my career. So getting to to talk a little bit about yeah. that and what that meant personally to me, what it continues to mean as we have conversations now even about race in Hollywood and, and how tricky it can be. So so I've been really, you know, it's been it's been fantastic. You know, no pun intended, it's got to be one of the smartest rehearsal rooms with Lydia and Kenny in there and your cast. It is, it is. And that's what's been so nice is we get to really get in there and have conversations. I mean, I think we spent the first four days of rehearsal just mostly talking about the material and, and exchanging ideas and telling our personal stories. And it's been really an, an incredible collaboration and, and dialogue between us all. So we hope that when people come and see the play that they have the same experience, that they want to they, they have discourse about it and really talk about it because it is it's, it's a play that is is gets you going that way I think it's not often that you get a chance or women let alone Asian American women get a chance to work on such rich roles and rich characters as the one of Ginny so I'm very 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 honored and it's a really fun play well, take me back to the beginning. The first time you read the play, what were your thoughts? And now working on it. <laughs> I, I feel like it might be a little too telling. But uh, first time I read it, I, I just looked at this. and I, I had some plans. Uh, I was going to make some different life choices. And as soon as I read that, I was like, I have to do this. This is... This is me, sadly enough. I mean, I'm, I identify and relate to it very much, just in the sense of, um, you know, we're all struggling to be heard. Now, what can you tell us about the woman you're going to play without giving too many... The woman that I'm going to be playing is a woman that you don't see too often. And again, as an Asian American woman, uh, just somebody who is very, very, very nurturing, very intelligent, um, persecuted because of her appearance and maybe not necessarily taken as seriously because of her appearance and because of these things and it's kind of an isolating existence so it's she's she's definitely a very com compassionate misunderstood person yeah. I love Lydia's writing. I love her plays. That's so I said, without giving anything away, I know how you all sort of fit into this whole thing. Right. Working with this cast, what it's been like so far. A dream. An absolute dream. We had, uh, we had all been cast a couple of months before we had met. So to be sitting with this and to be thinking about it, it was so exciting. But then when you meet, and then especially the first table read, it's so exciting because I've been hearing it in a certain way. and. Here I get to meet these people that are even my family for the next few months and they're, it's exactly what I was imagining and envisioning and we have such great fun together and really great chemistry which I think is always nice. We're really excited. This is the second time I've had a chance to collaborate with Kenny in this arena and um, it's a very different play. It's a smaller play than Stick Fly but with big, big controversial ideas. Uh, it's class, it's sex, it's gender, race, identity and um, um, and four A-type personalities who are just charging through their, their world. I love to ask playwrights, what kicked you off to write this? Was there something that set you on your path to write smart people? You know what's interesting? There, there, there was a, a prevalence of plays that were being written by white men in particular that talked about race quite boldly. And I had not had a chance to sort of own that. All of my plays deal with race and class because that's where I live. Um, I said, I'm going to write my race play. It's going to be funny and it's going to be flawed in uh, terms of the people and, and, um, and I'm going to own that. What's it been like? What attracted you to want to do this play? Uh, first thing that attracted me to, to this particular play was Lydia Diamond, who's just a great writer, and we did uh, Stick Fly on Broadway together. But the intellect in this play and the fact that it's dealing with race, sex, and politics, but you're laughing. Uh, so it's a good mix between drama and comedy. Uh, and it's four people, so I have four amazing actors. But the play allows them to get to a deeper level of discussion because they're involved with each other in an intimate way, you know? Some of them are having sex with each other, some, you know, so that makes it a much deeper conversation. So I, this is one of the uh, most amazing new plays 
that I've read or had the opportunity to to uh, to direct in a very very long time. 